A proposal for a new resort and casino at Southport could see a century-old bowls club demolished. About 300 people protested the plans today, as Lucy Murray reports. Not for sale! Not for sale! Opponents celebrated last month after plans to build a $3 billion resort on the spit was rejected by the state government. Today, they're fighting Plan B, a casino on public land near the Broadwater. It's the first rally I've had since I came on council 26 years ago, and I feel so strongly about this. There's not been one other issue that I've felt as strongly about. The park has been yarn-bombed by the Country Women's Association, sending the message locals don't want another casino. We are concerned and we want the Premier to hear our message that public land is not for sale. Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate met unofficially with the council last month to lay down the plans. The redevelopment would see this 104-year-old bowls club knocked down. The Southport Club still boasts over 300 dedicated bowlers. I can't think about not doing it because I've done it for 25 years. I've been here, uh, play two or three times a week, and that's where all my friends are. The tennis centre would also be destroyed. The club has seen many greats hone their skills on its court since it opened in the 1940s. Sam Stozer is definitely one that comes straight to mind. Um, we've had the likes of Rod Laver use our facility and we, we run very big tournaments, even still today, for the young fellas uh, and the future generations. Gold Coast Tourism wouldn't comment on the proposal but says it supports continued development to attract more visitors and to give people a reason to stay longer. LNP member Rob Mulhook says he'll oppose the plans. I don't think we're taking Tom seriously at all on this. The final decision will come down to the state government, much like it did with the plans for a casino on the spit. Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate declined the ABC's request for a comment on the protest. Lucy Murray, ABC News, Gold Coast.